In the book of Romans, chapter 5, verse 8, it says, Christ died for us, showing God's love. During the six hours that Jesus was on the cross, he expressed himself seven times, each utterance unveiling a facet of his love. As you delve into the condensed interpretation of Jesus' final seven statements from the cross, it is my hope that you will perceive and understand his love for you and find it impossible to resist. Number one, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Luke 23, verse 34. Jesus' first words on the cross were, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Despite the soldiers' actions, they didn't believe they were sinning. This highlights that sin isn't always recognized by personal intuition, but is defined by God in the Bible. Jesus' words embody his teaching to love and pray for enemies, showing his enduring love even for those who crucified him. Number two, truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Luke 23, verse 43. Two criminals were crucified with Jesus. One insulted him, while the other, reflecting on his impending death and judgment, asked Jesus to remember him in his kingdom. Jesus responded, Truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise, offering hope to all, even those on the brink of eternal destruction. Number three. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to his mother, Woman, Behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her to his own home. John 19, 26, verse 27. This marked a shift from Jesus being Mary's son to her saviour. Despite her loss, Mary gained an incomparable saviour as Jesus sacrificed his life for humanity's redemption. Number four. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice saying, Eli, Eli, Lima Sabachthani, that is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Matthew 27 verse 46. This was a fulfillment of Psalm 22 verse 1. Jesus, crucified at nine in the morning, spoke three times before noon, expressing forgiveness, promising paradise, and redefining familial relationships. After three hours of silence, darkness fell at noon. Jesus then experienced the torments of hell on the cross, enduring suffering, darkness, demonic powers, and God's judgment, all to spare humanity from such a fate. Number five. After this, Jesus, knowing that all was now finished, said to fulfill the scripture, I thirst, John 19, verse 28. After six hours on the cross, Jesus expressed his physical suffering by saying, I thirst, fulfilling Psalm 22, verse 15. His body was in fever and dehydrated due to the wounds from the crucifixion. This was the only time he referred to his own suffering, having previously spoken to forgive others, promise paradise, care for his mother, reveal the anguish of hell, announce atonement and entrust his spirit to God. His experience of extreme suffering enables him to help those who suffer. Number six. When Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, it is finished, and he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. John 19, verse 30. When Jesus said, It is finished, it marked the end of his suffering, his obedience, his battle with his enemy, and his work of atonement. Though he experienced immense suffering, he is not suffering now and is at the right hand of the Father in heaven. The world needs a Savior who understands suffering but is not overwhelmed by it. Jesus, having triumphed over suffering, is that Savior. Number 7. Then Jesus, calling out with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And having said this, he breathed his last. Luke 23, verse 46. This was in fulfillment of Psalm 31, 5. Jesus willingly gave his life, asserting his authority over death. No one takes my life from me. I have authority to lay it down, and I have authority to take it up again. John 10, verse 18. His loud voice at the moment of death signified his triumphant entry into death. The centurion, witnessing Jesus' death, acknowledged him as the Son of God. Jesus' death was unique, and his resurrection brought life to us all.